Hey crafty friends, it's Jen from Katahdin Crafts and welcome back to the Cottage Cuts YouTube channel. I have made another strawberry house this week because they are super adorable. Last time I made it out of a terracotta pot with the strawberries coming out and this time I used the strawberry cottage die. We do have a lucky winner for the strawberry girl die. They are listed below. Make sure you follow those instructions and you will have your die sent to you. Congratulations. And this week, if you comment and like on my video, you have the chance to win this strawberry cottage die. How exciting is that? I will remind you again of that giveaway at the end of the video because you don't want to miss out on your chance. All right, for today's project, I am primarily using that strawberry cottage die, but I'm gonna also use some other dies from the Strawberries and Bees release for different size strawberries. And now for this card, as you can see, I'm completely going out of my box. I'm using pattern paper, um, polka dot pattern paper, and a nice pastel palette. I cut out on Copic friendly cardstock and then I color in my images but I wanted to do something different this time and as you can see I went ahead and I die cut all my images out at once I find having all of my images all cut out and ready to go helps me create my card and I'm also using the grass slim line die with that green polka dot so that will be my grass and as you can see I'm using a few of those small strawberries from that cute little gnome and then for the cloud slimline I I'm trying to do something very whimsical um, with this whole polka dot image so I use two of those um, cloud slimlined dies and I reversed one and I made a strip of clouds now it's time to put all of our elements together I'm gonna add that strip of clouds and my little polka dotted grass on the bottom and I already went ahead and assembled my strawberry house I just used the packaging because the packaging with these dies are wonderful they show how to assemble all of those little detailed pieces and when I adhered my strawberry house to my card, I only put glue in the middle so I could lift it up and slide these little curly cues underneath portions of the house all around. I'm trying to build up my scene with having the little vines and the leaves and little strawberries all coming out of this house. I just thought that made a nice little fairy tale look and that's really what I'm looking for on this whole card with the polka dots and it's just a very fairy tale um just whimsical look I I really like it it kind of reminds me of like like I feel like the whole house is almost sat on a cloud like it's just very dreamy what do you think do you think that I achieved the little dreamy look I hope so because that's what I was going for and as you can see I did choose a um sparkly green to go with those and I'm not sure if that was my if that was the best choice it's very bold but I did want those that green sparkly to be in there but another um if I were to do this again I would probably choose a white sparkly so it's not really your typical strawberry color but nothing really was my very typical color choices in this palette so I think a white strawberry cap that would have been really nice too I picture like a white iridescent um, cap so yeah that could be what I would do next and maybe a few more of those curly cues going off the side in that white white sparkly color I'm picturing this perfectly on my mind I'm hoping that I am sending those vibes to your your brains as well and now just to even up this card I'm gonna snip off those edges and now I am making a typical a2 size card so my card panel is five and a quarter by four inches that is my favorite side to do size to do so you can see now I'm going to back it on some of the orange polka dot and that is a five and a half by four and a quarter piece my frame so that is framed perfectly and I'm going to bring out that orange again with my little flowers that I'm going to add to the grass here I'm going to use all of the colors but I'm definitely going to make sure that there's some orange there as well and if you can see on the flower boxes I also use that same orange that's in that frame I really had so much fun mixing and matching all these polka dots 
and this these colors I just really enjoyed that and especially building up that little background of the grass with all those flowers I thought that was super fun and now I'm using a very thin tipped micro pen in order to showcase off those little strawberry seeds which you know when you look at a strawberry you can see those seeds and again the details of the dyes have all of those um, impressed into the paper so it's really simple to go ahead and trace out those seeds and now I actually my favorite part of this card is the inside I know that that sounds funny but I love the way I built this sweetest berry in the patch because I used all of those pastel colors, the polka dot pastel colors from the, the front, and I put them all inside. And I love the way that this worked. I love the little brackets that they have that go around it, and I chose to use that sparkly green with those. And now I'm just going to build all that up with different layers and different colors. I used the purple, the pink, the orange, and of course that green. And then I'm going to add some flowers around that too, along with that berry. But again, I'm showing you how I'm using the packaging in order to assemble that. They have all the details right there for you. But of course you don't have to go that way. You can come up with your own um, way of doing it as well because there's a lot of different sayings there's a lot like you can see all the three different berries that are there so the the possibilities and the mixing and matching there are completely endless and now I'm gonna place my card panel onto my card base and I'm gonna add a few extra little sparkly jewels around my card I had this um, package in my stash and I just picked out some deeper wineish colors and I thought to add a little bit more to those seeds I'm gonna use a little bit of a white gel pen to add a little highlight and then of course I'm going to add a little bit more sparkle and shine with my clear Winkastella pen and that just gives it a little bit more shine on those strawberries and on the windows where the light would be shining and there you have it our complete project for this week I really appreciate you crafting with us again and don't forget to like and comment below for your chance to win this strawberry cottage die and again congratulations to Linda Patterson she won that strawberry girl um, die from last week I have all the information listed below for you to collect your die make sure you go to the website listed below to check out all the dies from this strawberry and bees release it is super sweet um, and of course we have a blog that has a lot of inspiration daily for you so check that out as well and I will see you again in a couple of weeks happy crafting everybody